Harley Davidson is one of the biggest motorcycle brands on the planet. Don't believe me? When was the last time that you saw somebody with Honda tattooed on their body? This is a company that was once bought by a manufacturer of bowling balls. What the f This year in 2023, we're gonna be celebrating 120 years of Harley Davidson. Whether or not you support the brand or the motorcycle, you cannot deny that Harley Davidson is truly an American success story. The company went from number one to bankrupt, even going through a buyout, only to climb back out and become the most recognized motorcycle brand on the market. Now I've spent the last few years on my Harley Davidson, touring around the country and creating films, documentaries, and other videos for you to enjoy. But I never really fully understood the history of Harley Davidson until right now. So I want to tell you this story in the best way that I know how that summarizes the rich history of Harley Davidson and the history of the motorcycle company. Harley Davidson was founded in 1903 by William S. Harley and Arthur Davidson. The company was born out of a passion for motorcycles and to create a machine that could go faster and further than anything else on the road. In its early years, Harley Davidson worked out of a small factory in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The first Harley Davidson, built in 1903, was a single cylinder motorcycle that created just four horsepower. I'm pretty sure there's lawn mowers that have more than that these days. In 1904, Harley Davidson created its first V-twin engine, which would be the benchmark for all other models to come. By 1906, the company had produced over 50 motorcycles and was rapidly increasing their production facilities. Harley-Davidson motorcycles quickly became popular with police departments and the military. This action led to Harley-Davidson being the biggest motorcycle manufacturer in the world. The company also began to compete in motorcycle racing, and during that time, Harley-Davidson won many races and actually broke a lot of records. During World War I, the U.S. Army used Harley-Davidson motorcycles extensively, which helped establish the company's reputation for reliability and for toughness. In the years that followed, Harley-Davidson continued to innovate and change their production. They introduced new features, like the knucklehead, which was created in 1936, and the panhead engine, which was in 1948. In the 1950s and 60s, Harley-Davidson motorcycles became associated with the rebellious and countercultural lifestyle. This lifestyle was created due to the popularity of movies like The Wild One and Easy Rider. However, the motor company was struggling financially at this time and was eventually bought out by the American Machine and Foundry, a company you probably know as AMF. In 1969, AMF, a company that primarily produced bowling equipment and other leisure products, purchased the Harley-Davidson Motor Company. Harley-Davidson at the time was struggling financially. This was pretty much due to foreign manufacturers coming into the market and the declining sales of Harley-Davidson. AMF saw this as an opportunity to diversify their product line and increase revenue by purchasing Harley-Davidson. After the acquisition, AMF did what you probably shouldn't do, and they started changing things with the production line and their processes, which resulted in the decline of the quality of their motorcycles. Some of these changes included using cheaper materials and streamlining production methods to increase efficiency. The changes that were made by AMF did not sit well with the Harley-Davidson loyal customer fan base. The reputation really suffered. Additionally, the 1970s were a difficult time for the American motorcycle industry all around. 
with the rise of Japanese motorcycle brands leading to increased competition. But in 1981, a group of Harley-Davidson executives and investors led by Von Beals and Willie G. Davidson purchased the company back from AMF. They made significant changes to the production process and they really focused on the quality of the bike and customer satisfaction. Over the years, Harley-Davidson has continued to innovate and evolve, trying to create the best motorcycles that are on the road. Today, Harley-Davidson is one of the biggest names in the motorcycle industry. I can only help but think right now that maybe somebody was affected during those changes in the 70s and 80s that might have a bad taste in their mouth for Harley-Davidson. But there was a big backstory behind it. Harley-Davidson has been playing a major role in the motorcycle culture, and they've added new members to that family year after year. From the legendary Harley-Davidson motorcycle clubs to the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, or even Daytona Bike Week, there is no doubt that the predominant bike you're gonna see there is gonna be a Harley-Davidson. Harley-Davidson has become a signature of freedom and, at least for me, adventure. Harley-Davidson continues to push those boundaries of the motorcycle engineering with cutting-edge technologies and designs that are unlike anything else on the road. With a rich history and a bright future ahead, I have no doubt that Harley-Davidson will probably continue to be the biggest name brand in the industry for the years to come. As I said before, the company is global with an iconic symbol that is recognized all over the world. It's not just a motorcycle. It really is a way of life. So you have to give it to them, no matter what your thought is on the company or the bike. So here's to you, Harley Davidson. In July 2023, we're going to be celebrating 120 years of your rich American history. And my question to you is, are you going? If you're looking for some additional motivation to get out there on the road, you can check out this video right here. This is our latest documentary. We traveled over 5,500 miles solo. It was an amazing experience. I'm glad to be able to share that with you guys. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, you ride safe, you be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.